Welcome to Lakeside Performance. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. It comes right off with a little heat. This is yum stuff right here. Yummy. I've been searching. Follow every step, every road, every single trace. So let's do like a little before and after tanning test. I'm gonna knock on the roof and see what it sounds like and then we'll put the dynamite on and we'll uh, do it again. Test again, see what happens. Oh, wow. Dang, that is insane. The roof is, is way more rigid now, too. That's insane. That works really, really, really well. So, if you have a real tinny sounding panel on your car, truck suv van whatever not sponsored but damn that's cool dynamite extreme welcome back guys to lakeside performance this is going to be episode nine of the saturated volvo s40 t5 all-wheel drive r design rebuild process the original problem with this car was that it developed a sunroof leak and filled the car up with water after several rains, I'm sure. Who knows how long it sat before someone actually tied a pond it off. I did not know that it had a lot of interior damage to it. I didn't figure that out until it was loaded on the trailer and it was pouring water out of the bottom of it. So I figured it out and I uh, got it out of the, off the trailer in the garage and I've been working on it since. You've seen it, it's been gutted, completely gutted, so go back and watch that episode. Definitely a unique car, definitely unique. But we're gonna work on getting this engine swapped out. So we're gonna get this entire car up on jack stands
my memory card is full all of a sudden. Full. <laughs> so I swap over to my uh, iPhone just for a second here. Uh, hopefully it's not too terrible, but essentially all I did was uh, I got this bolt right here. I loosened it up a little bit. You can see she's uh, got a little swing to her at the moment. I had to shift it over just to the right just a slightly bit. And then on this side over here, oh, look at this crap right here. Check this crap out right here. Boys, this ain't supposed to be like this, okay? This ain't supposed to be like this. This ain't supposed to be like this. Look at this right here. Look at this. This thing's cracked open. Look on the inside. Wow, look at that crap, boys. Look at that. Okay, so this is a fluid-filled... I don't know what it has in it. It's probably some kind of a uh, oil of some sort. It's supposed to be a fluid filled uh, motor mount. You can obviously see it's no longer freaking fluid filled. <laughs> All right, boys, we got it out. Finally, we got it out. All right, so. I know you guys wanted to see what uh, I know you guys wanted to see what the S40 engine bay looks like without an engine or subframe or suspension. So, me too, quite frankly. And this is what it looks like all tore down. I haven't gotten the uh, driver's side engine mount out yet. I did get the passenger side one out. You can see how freaking dirty everything is it's so dirty there's no telling how long this thing had a leak for because it's just so gross it's so nasty man this thing is so nasty i mean that's just insane i mean look at this i mean that's all oil it's just oil and grime from years i mean see all this black stuff right here that shouldn't be that way I mean, that white one over in uh, Amity, Louisiana did not even look nowhere near like this. It was not dirty like this. Whoever had this, freaking rag this puppy out. That's for sure. Ragged it out. I mean, I'm so surprised that everything is as straight as it is. I mean, look at that. I mean, that is like literally like an eighth of an inch of sludge right there on the bottom of that rail. <laughs> Catch you guys later. Have a good night. Be safe.